Welcome everyone to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, or RPI. Founded in 1824, RPI is the nation's first technological research university. Students come here from around the globe to get immersed in engineering, science, technology, architecture, business, humanities, even the arts. Students find their tribe here and work alongside faculty to invent for the future and solve the world's toughest problems. Whether it's D1 hockey, a student-led club, a community service project, or a startup delivering life-changing innovations, RPI students are making a difference. Located here in historic Troy, New York, and nestled between New York City and the Adirondack Mountains, RPI is home to over 32 research centers and the first university in the world to have an IBM Quantum System 1 on its campus. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next hour, you'll meet athletes, entrepreneurs, aspiring physicians and military officers, artists, alumni, and Marty Schmidt, RPI's amazing president. Welcome to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, home of innovation, Puckman and the engineers. This is the college tour. Okay, meet Noah, a sophomore majoring in nuclear engineering with a music minor. When he learned about RPI's music program, he was hooked. In addition to playing music in the Experimental Media and Performing Arts Center, Noah also gets to use RPI's high-tech recording studio to create songs. Take it away, Noah. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everybody. When I was looking for colleges, I was overwhelmed with the sheer volume of options. I had no idea which school would be best for me. RPI really stood out when I saw its amazing Experimental Media and Performing Arts Center, also called MPAC, on campus. Music has always been a big part of my life, so when I found out that RPI has a large music program as well as an interesting engineering program, I was hooked. That's why I enrolled in their orchestra and started down the path of a music minor. In addition to my main engineering courses, I have been able to express myself creatively through classes like the Songwriting Workshop, where I got help writing original music from a great professor who's a former rock star. Additionally, I've been able to play for the RPI Symphonic Orchestra in MPAC, one of the most acoustically sound auditoriums in the entire nation. There are also great music clubs at RPI, such as the Audio Makers Club, where I can talk with other music makers just like myself and collaborate together with them on new music. The club holds weekly recording sessions where you can record audio to use in your own songs. This year, I'll be taking the class Song Recording and Production, where I get to work in a recording studio independently as a lab space and develop my music creation process even more. And the best part, I get to experience all of this on top of becoming a nuclear engineer. Being a sophomore, I still have lots of experiences left ahead of me, and I can't wait to see what more RPI has in store. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Noah, that's incredible that you get to play in the symphonic orchestra in one of the most acoustically sound concert halls in the entire world. RPI's music program allows students to combine their love of music with science, media, and engineering. RPI is an all Steinway school, and its orchestra has even performed at Carnegie Hall. Incredible. Thank you, Noah. Let's hear from Aaron who is a senior in the accelerated BS PhD program studying biological neuroscience. It sounds intense, but Erin says the support system at RPI makes a world of difference. She feels she has a strong foundation for her doctoral studies, given her academic and extensive research experience while an undergrad at RPI. Take it away, Erin. Thank you, Alex. What's up, y'all? When choosing a university, I wanted to be in a place where I not only felt welcomed, but a place that would foster my undying curiosity about the world. Lucky for me, visiting RPI's School of Science cemented my desire to come and explore the opportunities it had to offer. Upon being accepted, the discipline that resonated the most with me was biological neuroscience. Having grown up with a sister with autism, I've always wanted to learn more about the brain and how it operates in different individuals. From engaging lectures to integrative lab sessions, RPI offers so many ways for students to further their learning. For example, all students within the School of Science receive a foundational education in biology, chemistry, and physics. 
Despite the large number of students in these courses, there are smaller recitation periods and even smaller mentoring groups to ensure that students don't miss a single concept. Furthermore, RPI has a plethora of research opportunities for both graduate and undergraduate students. I was accepted into the accelerated BS PhD program offered here. Program participants attend semester-long rotations in labs on top of their coursework so that by their senior year, they have already chosen a lab which allows them to get a jump start on their first year of graduate school. As I prepare to enter my last year at RPI, I am planning to get my PhD. In addition to the extensive foundation I've received in biology, chemistry, and physics, I've also gained an extensive network of RPI friends and colleagues who I know I will continue to rely on well after graduation. Back to you, Alex. Sounds like Erin will be well prepared to pursue her PhD. I'm sure her sister and her whole family are so proud of this young scientist. Thanks for sharing your story, Erin. That was awesome. Let's meet Mark, a senior earning his bachelor's degree in computer science and games and simulation arts and sciences while working towards his master's in mechanical engineering as a co-terminal student. RPI is home to many maker spaces like The Forge, and Mark is gonna tell us all about it. Hey Alex, thanks for having me. I've always been pretty focused on both academics and computers, so it was no surprise that I ended up going into engineering. Figuring out what I want to do after college has been a years long journey, but a huge part of that is exploring what I love doing right now. Ever since my first semester, I've been involved with The Forge, a fully student run makerspace that works with students from every major and department, empowering them to make their ideas, for class or otherwise, a reality. I started off as a volunteer, helping to keep the space open to casual users, but in the years since, I've continued to invest in the club, in the experience that we create for students, and I've grown to love the time that I spend at The Forge so much that I'm now the president. It's a surreal experience being at the helm of a club that is host to hundreds of students every semester, bringing brand new dreams to life every single time. We're not the only ones helping students create on campus either. From the mill, our partner space with industry-leading tools and technology, to shops and spaces in other departments, like the School of Architecture and the School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences, there are tons of opportunities everywhere you look to take charge of your own education and make your RPI experience truly unique. I'm coming to the end of my time at RPI, and it's a bittersweet thing. As much as I'll miss all the awesome things I've done on campus, I know that it's prepared me for even more amazing experiences in the world beyond. I hope RPI can be that building block for you too. Back to you, Alex. Mark, it sounds like you're keeping yourself very busy as president of The Forge. Who knows what you'll invent after RPI. Thanks again. Now we're gonna meet Audrey, a junior industrial chemistry major who's a member of the Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps at RPI, also known as ROTC. Audrey is gonna tell us about her growth through ROTC, including the time she spent on a destroyer, learning the responsibilities of a Naval officer firsthand. You're up, Audrey. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. My search for college was a little bit different than the typical high schooler. I needed somewhere that blended my want for outstanding academics as well as my desire to serve in the United States Navy. I found that RPI was just the place. The Naval ROTC program here really does shape the finest officers in the fleet. We learn everything from basic naval history to leadership and management skills to advanced ship navigation techniques. Here in the wardroom, midshipmen gather to tutor each other, keep watch over the spaces, and learn what it's like to have a support system of over 50 fellow students and six active duty Navy and Marine Corps officers ready to help you with everything you need. The greatest thing about Naval ROTC here is the leadership skills you learn and how you can use them not only in the fleet, but in the classroom and beyond. RPI offers undergrads the ability to engage in research, and I've been able to apply my leadership skills in the lab. Whether it's through collaborating with many different disciplines on a research question or presenting my findings to the group, my background in naval leadership has taken me further than I could have ever imagined. This summer, I had the privilege to spend a few weeks underway on a destroyer and learn about the responsibilities of a naval officer firsthand. I got some great insight about the day-to-day -day life of sailors, but most importantly, how to best lead them. 
In addition to the Navy, RPI has a long-standing history with both the Army and Air Force ROTC branches. RPI's rigorous education will carry me throughout my naval career as I hope to become a nuclear officer and serve on board an aircraft carrier. The skills and knowledge that I've learned at RPI will be the foundation of my future. Back to you, Alex. Audrey, your ROTC experience is an example of RPI's legacy with the U.S. military. RPI has produced one of the highest numbers of naval flag officers. RPI offers three different ROTC programs which offer participating students officer commissions into the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps after graduation. Thanks, Audrey. Say hello to Nathan, a PhD student in biochemistry and biophysics. Nathan is harnessing every opportunity he can at RPI. He's conducting important research, accessing state-of-the-art equipment, innovating, and collaborating. On top of all this, he's growing personally, giving back and pursuing his creative interests. The sky's the limit, Nathan. Please take it away. Thanks, Alex. I always knew I was passionate about science since I grew up reading books about herbal medicine and anatomy for fun. Although growing up in rural Pennsylvania, I always thought that would result in me becoming a high school science teacher. Although after getting my bachelor's in biology, I started looking into medical school. And that's when I found my love for research. And my professors and I started to look into graduate schools and they helped me find RPI. RPI has all the things I loved about going to a small school, but also the advanced technology I expected at a much larger institution. After losing my grandmother to Alzheimer's and hearing about all the research being done here on the disease, I knew it was perfect for me. The PhD program offered a fully funded education via research or teaching assistantships with a competitive stipend. This lets me focus on my research, but also get involved with campus and local life without having to get a second job. I have had the opportunity to not only do high-level research with advanced equipment, but also broaden my horizons. This year, a friend and I started a company with the hope of helping people with Alzheimer's disease to better communicate with their physicians. I also got involved in a large poetry community and LGBTQ plus community in the region. The environment here gave me the courage to publish my first poetry anthology, Cotton Candy Sun, but also to take risks in many other aspects of my life. RPI encourages students to get involved both on campus and off campus. The opportunities through RPI have taken me to conferences and symposiums where I have met people from all aspects of research. Whether working in another lab or pursuing my love for education, I know that I will be going in with the advantages that I was given by choosing to get my PhD at RPI. Back to you, Alex. I love hearing that RPI helps students develop professionally and personally. Researching the disease that affected your grandmother and potentially contributing to new treatments must be so gratifying. It's fantastic. Students have access to clubs, support, and research centers on campus in Troy and New York City. Well done, Nathan. Thank you so much for sharing your story. All right, time to meet Sean, a junior from Missouri majoring in architecture. Sean's love of the arts paired with the precision of engineering is what attracted him to RPI. But it's the spirit of camaraderie in the School of Architecture that inspires him every day. You're up, Sean. I appreciate the introduction, Alex. What's up, everyone? Ever since I was a young child, I've always been invested in the built environment around us. When I grew up, I wanted to be an Imagineer at Walt Disney World. My dream college was one that embodied the engineering of the arts with the precision of engineering. And what do you know? My dream came true when I discovered RPI. RPI boasts a diverse array of programs spanning five schools, with one that I could probably call my academic home, the School of Architecture. As a third-year student in the five-year architecture program, I've been immersed in the intricate world of architecture in my journey so far. The Steam Green Building, nestled adjacent to the iconic 86 field, is a hub of architectural exploration and innovation. Guided by insightful professors and embraced by the tightness school community, I have found a nurturing educational haven where I'm continuously inspired by the best in the field. Within this vibrant environment, I've been introduced to the fascinating nuances of studio culture and I've gained a proficiency in the art of model making. Engaging in pinups, captivating visual displays, showcasing our work to professors and peers have been enlightening 
from envisioning abstract geometrical concepts to tangible structures that could be built. The spirit of camaraderie within the School of Architecture is unparalleled, with a shared commitment to mutual growth and success. As a part of the mentorship program, I help incoming first-year students guide them through the academic journey. In recent years, RPI's influence has amplified my journey, offering abundant avenues for growth and achievement, from featured online projects to archived works in the School of Architecture. This past summer, an enriching intern experience at HKS, a global architectural leader, highlighted RPI's role as a gateway to excellence and success. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Sean. You really found your home at RPI. In addition to a design studio, a fabrication, and a digital futures lab, the School of Architecture operates three research centers and students can study in locations like Italy and Argentina. RPI's architecture students are creating a beautiful and sustainable future. Thanks, Sean. Now let's meet Kardec a 1997 graduate of computer science who was attracted to RPI for its great support of student entrepreneurship. He went on to co-found Vicarious Visions, who helped bring to life awesome games like Guitar Hero, Skylander Swap Force, and much, much more. Earlier this week, I had the chance to hang out with Kardec and learn all about it. Have a watch. Guitar Hero. Mario Kart Live, Tony Hawk, the list goes on and on. Where did your passion for gaming come from? You know, my brother and I grew up playing video games and uh, used to come home from school playing Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Like, how cool is this? This is, we would love to do this. We were fortunate enough to meet an entrepreneur who was doing a startup with his brother. And he encouraged us and he said, go learn. He was a programming book and an animation package. And he's like, you figure it out. And we're like, oh my God, we can try and do this. And you know, we were working out of our parents' basement and we started a company called Vicarious Visions, which is because I spelt Vicarious wrong on the spelling test no. the prior week. That's how we started. Um, it's so awesome. It's an amazing story. Why did you choose RPI? You know, it was my college tour when I first came to campus saw the incubator center and I was wondering, what are they incubating in there? Well, it turns out it's a place for startup businesses to, to grow, where local community leaders and entrepreneurs along with faculty and staff are there to help you build your business. And that concept just blew my mind. I knew I had to be here, meeting these entrepreneurs, seeing them go from humble beginnings to taking their company public. I'm like, this is where I need to come and learn. So incredible. I mean, the rest is history. Yeah, exactly. So you have to be so proud of this amazing enterprise you've built right here in Troy. I'm really proud of the team that we've built here at Bellin Studios, but I'm even prouder of the ecosystem that we've built here in the Capital Region. We've gone from like two developers to over 600 game developers, you know, spanning 20 some odd companies, from the tiniest of startups coming out of RPI to bigger studios that are part of global entertainment companies. It's phenomenal and it's a very collaborative environment. And being back in downtown Troy, which is a really cool place to work and hang out, also allows us to be mentors the way I got supported early on. And I get to do that with my friends and you know, buddies where we've grown up together you know, for the last 30 years. And we get to make great games that are magic. It doesn't get any better. I mean, first of all, thank you for sharing your story with the college tour. What an amazing just 360 story where RPI is like right at the center. It's awesome. Thank you. Wow, Kardec, it's great to hear about your incredible journey and hear about how RPI works so hard to support student innovations. It's wonderful that you are still so involved with RPI. Thank you so much for showing us around your studios. Kardec, that was so much fun. Take care. Now let's meet Arthi, who is a co-terminal student of computer science. The co-terminal program is a great way to get an advanced degree at an accelerated pace. Soon, Arthi will pursue a career in the cutting edge field of artificial intelligence. But until then, she's having a great time exploring all of her interests at RPI. Arthi, tell us more. 
Thanks for the great introduction, Alex. My story starts at RPI when I decided to go to a smaller school to allow myself access to more opportunities and to be involved with a tight-knit community full of intelligent people that would push me to work harder. I found that at RPI in our prestigious computer science department. A huge priority for me during my college years was to be able to balance my passions with my rigorous academics. RPI's environment allowed me to excel in classes and be involved in our Bollywood dance team, the Board of Society of Women Engineers, cultural clubs, a sorority, and as an admissions ambassador to spread my love for RPI. I also studied abroad in Singapore for a semester, which I did not think would be possible with my technical major, but my advisors made this dream of mine happen. My undergraduate years at RPI were full of memorable experiences and an abundance of opportunities, both academically and professionally. So for my master's, RPI was the top choice for me. The co-terminal program at RPI allows students who completed their undergraduate degree to earn their master's degree within just two semesters, along with the master's project or thesis. Co-term students can specialize in a specific area pertaining to their major and choose a topic that interests them to research for their master's project. With how quickly technology is evolving and the way artificial intelligence is infiltrating every single market, I knew I needed to be a part of this by earning my master's in this field as soon as possible. The co-term program was the best fit for me as it would take me half the time as a traditional master's. I found a master's project that I truly loved, my scholarship supplied, and I continued to be part of a community that I had grown to love as an undergrad. Sending it back to you, Alex. Wow, way to maximize your time at RPI, having fun, building connections, and getting a sought after degree in an emerging field. RPI is an academically rigorous university that supports an amazing college experience and students get access to incredible technology. Your future is so very bright, Arthi. Thank you so much for sharing your story. All right, now let's meet Jake, a junior business and management major and a member of the RPI baseball team. RPI has 23 sports teams, including Division I men's and women's hockey. As a student athlete, Jake has received unique opportunities and really appreciates the RPI community he's a part of. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everybody. I've been a part of the RPI community for almost all of my life. I came to my first Big Red Freakout hockey game when I was just five years old. I always loved the energy of the fans, the exhilaration of the games, and of course, Puckman. As I grew up, my love for baseball flourished. I knew I wanted to play baseball in college, but RPI wasn't really on my radar until about the COVID-19 pandemic. I realized I valued being close to home and being close to my family more than I had anticipated. RPI's combination of world-class athletic facilities, as well as its valuable and well-respected academics, made it the perfect fit for me. From the first time I stepped foot on campus, I could tell that RPI Athletics was more than just a collection of sports teams. It's a family. I feel a sense of community every day, whether it's at practice, at lift, or just seeing a friendly face in one of my classes. Everybody in RPI Athletics has your best interests in mind, and it's great to know that you have that support system, especially with the challenges of being a student athlete at one of the nation's top universities. RPI Athletics has also provided me with unique opportunities around campus, like my on-campus job. I'm a part of the ice maintenance crew at the Houston Fieldhouse. Here, I get to work and watch men's and women's hockey games, take care of the ice before, during, and after matches, as well as driving the Zamboni. Being a part of RPI Athletics has helped me make some of my closest friends and allowed me to develop skills that will last me a lifetime. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity I've had to be an RPI engineer. Thank you, and back to you, Alex. Thanks, Jake, for sharing your story. I must admit, I'm a little jealous that you get to drive the Zamboni at the hockey games. Now, not only does RPI boast a high number of All-American athletes, they also have Puckman, which is so cool. Thanks again, Jake. All right, everyone, let's meet Issa, a senior design, innovation, and society and sustainability studies major. After coming to RPI all the way from Miami, Florida, Issa found her home away from home by joining a sorority. Through her sorority, she's formed lifelong friendships, gained critical leadership skills, and has given back to the community. You're up, Issa. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. Coming into college, I actually never pictured myself joining a sorority, but by spring semester of my sophomore year and meeting lots of girls involved in sororities and seeing just how strong their sisterhood was, I knew that this was something I wanted to be a part of to find my home away from home. 
While I initially joined my sorority, Alpha Phi, because of the strong sisterhood I witnessed, being a part of my sorority's executive board has taught me invaluable skills that will serve me well for the rest of my life. My time as Alpha Phi's Vice President of Marketing has allowed me to discover my passion for marketing, and I will now be staying an extra year at RPI to get my MBA with a concentration in marketing through our co-terminal program. Even more valuable, though, is the lifelong friendships I have formed with the girls I've met in my sorority. Any bad day seems not so bad when I'm able to go home to girls who I know will be there for me no matter what and who know I will do the same for them. My favorite fraternity and sorority community events are our formals, the block party, and our hockey night. Go Engineers! I also love our philanthropy and community service events. RPI's sororities and fraternities collaborate to raise money for charities and volunteer to serve our Troy community. Fraternity and sorority life has been the highlight of my college experience. All of my fondest memories from my time here at RPI have been thanks to this community I have found right here on campus. And that's all for me. Now back to you, Alex. Wow, Issa, it sounds like you and your sorority sisters are making memories that will last you a lifetime. Thank you for all that you're doing for RPI and the Troy community. All right, let's meet Ben, a senior aeronautical mechanical engineering major pursuing dual minors in architectural acoustics and music performance. He's thriving in a rigorous engineering program and still able to tailor his coursework to his personal passions and interests. All RPI students pursue coursework outside of their major to gain skills that complement their main area of study. Ben, you are up. Thanks, Alex. And what's up, everyone? I have a lot of different interests. So when I was looking into colleges, I wanted to go somewhere where I wasn't just limited to my major. RPI has some of the best opportunities to balance my academic goals with my other interests. I always knew I wanted to continue music in college. RPI not only encouraged, but required that I take classes in the School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences, or the School of Haas. In fact, engineers are required to take a Haas pathway, where you can focus in anything from economics, to game design, to creative writing. I completed my pathway in music performance, which I was able to turn into a music minor by adding only one additional course. But I didn't stop there. My advisor told me about RPI's architectural acoustics program, which I thought was awesome, the science behind music. Even though this program is in the School of Architecture, there were no restrictions or prerequisites. And I enjoyed these classes so much, I decided to pursue a second minor in acoustics. What sets RPI apart is that all the classes I've taken in four different schools have all worked together. I've been able to apply the skills I learned in acoustics to my engineering courses and engineering concepts to music, and the list goes on. RPI allows you to put a twist on your courses that lets you create a curriculum that truly interests you. Now, as a senior, I truly believe my education has prepared me to tackle anything in the world. At RPI, we're more than just engineers. We're artists, musicians, scientists, writers, business leaders, and architects all at the same time. And with that, back to you, Alex. Ben, it's incredible to hear about all the different areas of study you've had the chance to pursue as an engineering student. It's awesome that RPI provides a multidisciplinary education and to hear how much you've gained from that experience. Thanks again, Ben. Let me introduce you to Tommy, a junior from Fairlawn, New Jersey. Passionate about electrical engineering, Tommy also plays for the RPI football team. Tommy's gonna tell us how he found belonging on campus. Tommy, take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. I first became interested in electronics as a kid when I wanted to learn how a remote control car worked. Growing up, I worked on more projects, and midway through my high school career, I knew I wanted to study something related to engineering and electronics. I grew up here on campus. While my mom was attending RPI to get her PhD, she and my dad were taking care of me and my twin brother. 
I chose RPI because of the familiarity I had with its campus and the community, and I knew it was a great school academically and athletically. I am the National Society of Black Engineers treasurer on the football team and a part of other campus organizations. What I learned by joining all these clubs and organizations is that RPI fosters a sense of diversity and inclusion. I've made many friends along the way and I'm glad I encouraged myself to get involved. RPI has helped me meet new people, try new things, and I don't feel out of place. I'm happy I picked a school that aided in my personal development. RPI is more than 200 clubs and organizations for students to immerse themselves in outside of the classroom. RPI's identity-based clubs and organizations make everyone feel welcome and included. There are other clubs on campus that offer students a chance to be creative. Whatever it is you are interested in, you are going to find something for you. Throughout my time here at RPI, I've learned to work for what I want. I've had to learn to take the initiative to make conversations with others in order to form connections. I've improved my leadership skills and I've become a better student. Whatever it is you may struggle with, RPI will help you reach your full potential. That's all from me, Alex. Back to you. Tommy, what a great story. Thank you for telling us about RPI's welcoming environment. RPI has affinity groups and an office dedicated to multicultural programs. These resources go a long way to help foster community right here at RPI. Thanks again. Next, we have Kelly, who is in her second year of the Physician Scientist Program. RPI's program with Albany Medical College will allow Kelly to get her MD in only seven years. She is already taking part in research too. In her free time, she's exploring all the region has to offer with her new friends. Tell us more, Kelly. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. From the moment I visited my dad's pharmaceutical lab on Take Your Kids to Work Day, I knew I loved science. I furthered that passion throughout high school and even worked in an organic chemistry lab. So when it was time to apply, I realized RPI had the perfect opportunity for me, the Physician Scientist Program. Through this program, I have the opportunity to earn a BS in Biology from RPI, as well as a medical degree from Albany Medical College, all within seven years. But besides the competitive programs RPI offers, I love the way I've been able to make connections here. From meeting friends in the dorm halls, to becoming an Alpha Gamma Delta sister, and even joining RPI's Bonger dance team, I've found community all throughout campus. And there's no shortage of activities to enjoy around the area. There's Saturdays at the Troy Farmers Market, enjoying day trips to nearby lakes, or even New York City. Research is also a foundational part of the academic experience for undergraduate students here at RPI. By your second semester, you have the opportunity to partake in cutting edge research right here in labs like Walker or the Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies, CBIS for short. That building is home to accomplished faculty researchers who are contributing to fundamental and translational research tackling the most pressing healthcare and biotechnology challenges. CBIS is also a cross-disciplinary center that encourages interweaving ideas from engineering, computation, architecture, business, and even the humanities. There's truly an opportunity for everyone. My experience at RPI has gone above and beyond my expectations. In my first year alone, I've taken steps with my career as an aspiring physician, all while having fun and making new friends. And I look forward to the amazing academic, research, and social opportunities that RPI offers. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Wow, sounds like Kelly found just the right fit in RPI. It's amazing how much she has already experienced and she's only a sophomore. Thank you for sharing your story, Kelly. Take care. Say hello to Christopher, a junior from Wayne, New Jersey, dual majoring in games and simulation, arts and sciences, and electronic arts. Combining games and art is his academic passion, but after hours, he's busy playing Dance Dance Revolution. Take it away, Christopher. Thanks, Alex. Hello, hello, everybody. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to make video games. I remember getting lost in the world of Pokemon Soul Silver on my Nintendo DS. Ever since then, I wanted to make similarly formative and rapturing experiences for other people. Thus, I chose RPI. I'm dual majoring in games and simulation arts and sciences, also known as GSAS, and electronic arts. Long major short, I make games and art. My classes either teach me new skills or test them to make portfolio pieces. My favorite classes so far have been Intro to Game Design, History and Culture of Games, and 3D Animation. My professors push me to learn the most I can, 
be it through detailed feedback or gamified learning. In a recent class, I was the creative lead on Opsis, an experimental arena shooter game. Each week saw me designing and animating a new enemy, and it was so satisfying to see everything come together. Outside my classes, I strive to build personal and professional connections. On campus, I'm an active member of the Game Development Club, and I'm the president of the Dance Dance Revolution Club. The latter especially has taught me leadership skills, niche mechanics to consider for games, and it's just a fun place to relax. Off campus, I presented hi Z's, my zombie pirate movement shooter game, at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco and at RPI's own Game Fest. Being able to meet fellow students and industry veterans was wild and really helped me learn how I wanted to shape my future. Heading some awards was certainly a nice cherry on top. I'm currently on my away semester working on my portfolio as part of The Arch, a dedicated time in the academic calendar for students to pursue personal and professional development opportunities. It's nice to be able to get a little bit of a breather and pour my heart out for a bit. I hope to see you among us here at RPI soon. On to the next stage with Alex. Congratulations on presenting your video game at the Game Developers Conference, Christopher. What a great experience. RPI is home to one of the top gaming programs in the nation. Thanks again, Christopher. Now let's meet someone who not only went to RPI, but is also the university's 19th president, Marty Schmidt. This week, I had the pleasure of meeting up with President Schmidt, and we talked about everything from his days as a student to some of the most beloved activities and traditions on campus. We even got to meet Puck Man. Let's take a look. So you were a student here. Now you're back as president. How awesome is that? And, and what's that feel like? It's unbelievable. I mean, RPI had a transformative impact on me. I benefited from that with a great career. And uh, to be able to come back here, particularly at this moment in time, 200 years ago, this institution was founded in an area that was exploding with innovation and activity. And I feel that energy today, that innovation and activity that's occurring. And to be able to be part of that and to lead this institution forward, that's just amazing. That's oh, fantastic. You mentioned the renaissance happening here, and, and you can see it, you can feel it. It seems like there's so many companies not just moving here, but being startup and being grown from here. It's an amazing time, it's really exciting. I like to say we're in the talent business. We wanna bring really bright people here, provide them with an education, but what's changed is it's now possible for them to stay in the region and convert those ideas to impact right in downtown Troy and in the capital region, creating new companies, participating in innovation. And then they come back and they tell us some of the problems they're having. We work on those as research problems that produce new graduates and they do the same and it just creates this evergreen cycle. So it's a really exciting time here. I mean, it's a beautiful thing to see. It's been really cool. So we've been here all week, and one thing we've heard from so many students is how much fun they also have outside the classroom. Oh, it's so true. The energy, the excitement they bring to the classroom, they also bring it to all their extracurricular activities. Whether they're building a motor vehicle from scratch or participating in athletics, 80% of our students get involved in clubs, intramurals, or varsity sports. That's unbelievable. It is, and let me show you something that's really special about RPI. Hey, Puck Man. That's our awesome mascot. Oh, that's great. So, Alex, you see the banners up there? Yeah. RPI won the Nationals 1954, 1985. I'm not going to retire until there's another one up there. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much that's for showing awesome. us around. What a, what a special institution you have here. It's great. It's great. It's amazing to hear about what RPI was like when you were a student and what it's like now. I can't believe all the opportunities that RPI students have both on campus and in the local region. Marty, thank you so much for spending time with the college tour. That was really cool. Time to meet Jeffrey, a senior from Danbury, Connecticut. He's majoring in mechanical and aerospace engineering with a concentration in space flight mechanics. Oh, and he's minoring in economics, which ties right into his interests in innovation and entrepreneurship. Take it away, Jeffrey.
Thank you, Alex. Hello, everybody. Throughout my childhood, I always had a diverse range of interests. Although I earned high marks in the classroom, I most enjoyed my time outside of the classroom where I was able to build projects for science fairs and compete for my travel baseball team. Upon graduating high school, I was excited to pursue my engineering degree at RPI due to the large involvement of undergraduate students in on-campus research, and I haven't looked back. I joined my first research team as a sophomore and have since captained two of my own projects under the tutelage of Professor Asish Ghosh, who teaches Inventor Studio, a set of three courses where students are first introduced to systematic problem-solving techniques and then challenged to develop and present solutions to real-world problems. These are from a system-level idea to a fully funded prototype. Students are educated on how to leverage these ideas into securing patents and starting their own companies, which many have. It is a rare opportunity for undergraduate students to develop key entrepreneurial skills and gain practical problem-solving experience. I developed the wind turbine design for urban wind tunnels to increase the integration of renewable energy into our power grid. RPI even helped me attain two provisional patents for my projects at no cost to me from the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And these resources are available to all RPI students. At RPI, I've been able to nurture my innovation passion through hands-on design while competing as a captain on a club baseball team and in numerous active intramural sports. These opportunities here at RPI have provided me a springboard for post-grad triumphs with a robust research portfolio. Whether launching a startup company or out job hunting in the industry, I'm poised for future success. Back to you, Alex. Jeffrey, your passion for inventing is contagious. We can't wait to see what else you will invent in the future. Now, not only does RPI have a top aerospace program, but RPI students can learn firsthand how to bring their ideas into reality. Each year, they produce three to five actual startups. Absolutely amazing. Now introducing Sonia, who's pursuing an MBA with a concentration in life sciences entrepreneurship. After completing a dual bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering and design, innovation, and society, she decided to pursue graduate studies in the Lally School of Management to bring groundbreaking research from the lab to the marketplace to improve healthcare. Laura's all yours, Sonia. Take it away. Thanks for that introduction, Alex. My journey at RPI begins with a strong passion for engineering and technology. Growing up, I was always fascinated by science fiction and the interface between humans and technology. When I toured RPI as a high schooler, I fell in love with campus and all the opportunities available for students. One of the most important things for you to know about RPI is that there's this deep geek, niche nerd kind of culture you just can't find anywhere else. As I pursued undergraduate degrees in biomedical engineering and design, I realized that while I love the technical aspect of my studies, I was also intrigued by the business side of healthcare and life sciences. That's what led me to pursue an MBA at the Lally School of Management. I wanted to enhance my engineering background with essential business skills and open up new possibilities for my career. Historically, the rate of translation of groundbreaking research towards novel medical devices, treatments, and protocols has not been optimal. I'm interested in building a career that pushes these ideas and research towards commercialization to improve healthcare. At Lally, I've been able to participate in interdisciplinary collaboration, and I have the platform to explore innovative solutions to real-world problems. Through the Severino Center for Technological Entrepreneurship, I participated in research funded by the National Science Foundation to explore the commercial potential for my research. I also participated in pitch competitions and attended conferences. The combination of business and technical skills I've gained at RPI allows me to approach challenges with a unique perspective. I feel well equipped to take on some of the world's toughest issues in healthcare. The Lally community has also provided a strong support system that extends beyond the classroom. RPI's network of fellow students, alumni, and faculty have opened doors for me and provided exciting opportunities and connections within the business world. Back to you, Alex. Sonia, it's exciting to hear you can combine your passion for improving healthcare with your technical and business interests at RPI. At the Lally School of Management, students gain expertise in business analytics, fintech, and more, and develop their entrepreneurial and leadership skills. Sonia, thank you so much for sharing your story. Absolutely incredible. Okay, everyone, let's meet Anya. 
a senior physics major who's going to tell us about the exciting things that happen off campus and the ARCH program, which facilitates students spending a semester away from campus to pursue their passions like research or studying or working abroad. Take it away, Anya. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm a senior physics major here at RPI. After visiting the campus, I committed to RPI with high hopes, and I haven't been disappointed. My college experience has been overwhelmingly positive, formative, and absolutely unforgettable. Outside of classes, the two activities that take most of my time are soccer and band. I'm president of the women's club soccer team, and I also help run pickup soccer sessions jointly with the men's team. I also play the trumpet in the pep band and in a more formal trumpet octet. Needless to say, I'm always rushing around to get to my next thing, and my life on campus is very exciting. But one of the best things about RPI is actually what happens off campus. RPI has a program called the ARCH, in which each student pursues a personal or professional development opportunity for one semester of their junior year. In the fall of my junior year, I scored a prestigious opportunity doing laser plasma acceleration experiments at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in California. There, I worked with a giant petawatt class laser system and even got to shoot it myself. In addition to professional and technical skills, I also learned a lot of soft skills as I was living completely independently on the West Coast and getting my first taste of true adult life. That experience taught me the importance of internships. So the following summer, I went on to apply for more and I was lucky to land a position at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in New Mexico. There, I spent 10 weeks conducting research, visiting world-class telescopes, meeting celebrities in radio astronomy, traveling the Southwest, and building lifelong friendships with my fellow interns. Prior to the ARCH, I wasn't aware of the opportunities that exist within my field, but RPI allowed me to explore my potential and gave me the confidence to be assertive in pursuing my dreams. Well, that's it for me. Back to you, Alex. So, Anya, you're telling me you pursued both of those experiences while an undergraduate student at RPI. That is pretty amazing. It's great to hear that RPI students have dedicated time in the academic calendar for professional development and pursuing their passions. Thanks again, Anya. Time to meet Amr. Amr is a senior from New York City studying mechanical engineering and chose RPI for its highly ranked engineering program. RPI offers 12 engineering majors like aerospace, nuclear, electrical, civil, and chemical engineering. And that's not all that drew him to RPI. Here's Armour to tell us all about what students can explore at RPI. Thank you, Alex. Alongside growing up in New York City, my family has been instrumental in motivating me to build a well-rounded and intellectually rich background. This motivation drove my ever-evolving interests in jazz, engineering, robotics, manufacturing, and sports. I think while I was initially drawn to RPI because of its highly ranked engineering program, the unique combination of the Institute's size, personable campus, and program diversity provided me with the perfect platform for interdisciplinary enrichment. For example, as a jazz pianist and president of the Rensselaer Music Association, RPI's student-run music community, I found a family away from home that nurtures my musical and leadership growth. Additionally, my interaction with faculty and alumni entrepreneurs and residents within the Severino Center for Technological Entrepreneurship challenges me to think outside of a technocentric mindset when approaching entrepreneurship competitions and programs such as the National Science Foundation's Innovation Corps. My mentor-mentee relationship with Professor Johnson Samuel has not only expanded my academic and career horizons, but also exposed me to RPI's pioneering research in next-generation advanced manufacturing, spanning biomanufacturing, energy storage, renewables, and more. Similarly, in what we call the Teaching Factory-Based Manufacturing Education Program, 
I've been able to translate my passion for manufacturing into industry relevant skills and experiences. As a whole, the recognition I've gained from awards and scholarships as a direct result of these relations and programs speaks to the profound impact of the personable faculty and diverse opportunities within RPI's School of Engineering. My story shows that being a well-rounded engineer with multifaceted layers of artistry, leadership, entrepreneurship, and academic excellence is facilitated in an environment that allows multidisciplinary students to thrive. This interdisciplinary background is enabling me to tackle the convergent solutions required to solve the world's most pressing issues. Back to you, Alex. RPI's engineering students are also immersed in the areas that matter for our future, like semiconductors, renewable energy, and advanced manufacturing. Students are even involved in motorsports and often get internships in places like NASA. Great story. Thank you so much for sharing. Meet Kate, who was involved in student government as an undergraduate, as a former Grand Marshal, the highest elected student leader at RPI. Kate, who graduated with a degree in electrical engineering, is now pursuing her MBA with a concentration in life sciences entrepreneurship. Loves that RPI offers so many options for students to get involved. Go for it, Kate. Thanks, Alex, and hi, everybody. When I was looking for colleges, I felt like every school I looked at had academic rigor and strong extracurriculars, but then, I went to an RPI hockey game, and that's where I learned that RPI students bring their passion and drive and commitment to everything from the classroom to their hockey chants. I served as Grand Marshal or student body president for two years, and this is where I learned what really makes RPI special, student empowerment. As Grand Marshal, I wasn't just playing student government. I helped with important staff searches. I wrote policy changes for our student handbook. I even helped write the 10-year strategic plan for the Institute. I felt like I was making real, tangible changes. You don't have to run for GM to experience the power of student empowerment at RPI. Our union is central to student life, and it's a group of students that work with staff on the business operations and finances. Any of our 200 plus clubs have real world impacts, from philanthropy organizations like Alpha Phi Omega to our student-run radio station, WRPI Troy. When you get involved with extracurriculars at RPI, you have the opportunity to impact your campus, your community, and even the whole world, all while having fun. The stakes might be higher, but you learn so much more about yourself and about the world. This unique form of experiential learning is made possible by RPI's commitment to empowering their students. As I've begun the job search, the skills I've learned through my extracurriculars have prepared me for the real world. Budgeting, policy writing, relationship building, these are skills RPI teaches you in the union, not in the classroom. I'm proud to know that as an alum, I will be able to walk through campus and see the impact of my time here, as many have before me and as you will too. Good luck everyone, and back to you, Alex. Wow, I can't believe there are more than 200 clubs for students. How cool is that? There's sure to be something for everyone, no matter what you're interested in. Thanks, Kate, for telling us about how RPI supports student empowerment. Really cool. Thanks again. What an incredible episode. I see why Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute is a steam powerhouse and the place of discovery and innovation. The students are brilliant care about our world and are determined to make it a better place. RPI students forge their own path. And when they graduate, they thrive with fulfilling careers and contribute to the world. Thank you to all the passionate and driven students. And of course, President Schmidt, Kardik, and Puckman. Now that's it for me. I'm so inspired by my time here and I hope you are too. Please check out RPI's website and come see for yourself why this university is so special. And we'll see you on campus real soon, everyone. Take care.